A good morning, good morning, good morning. No, it's not morning, it's afternoon. It's 12 o'clock, it's afternoon. Hi. So, I'm, I'm getting all mixed up with me, with the hours. It is bank holiday Monday. Bank Holiday Sunday. Get it right, Angela. Do you know what? Have a sip of tea. Yeah, have a sip of tea. Gather your thoughts. So there we go. I'm having my tea this morning out of my believed she could. So she did mug. So good afternoon. So it's Sunday, Bank Holiday Sunday in August and I am doing another live. This is only the second live video that I've ever done on this uh, channel. So um, yeah, really looking forward to it. And uh, we're going to talk about something very specific today in relation to the wellness and weight loss journey and also mindset because I really believe that mindset is the key to following through on the journey. Um, mindset for me is everything. It's absolutely everything. And once my mindset is good and my mindset is in the right place, then everything else follows. So we're going to talk about that uh, today. So as and when you join me, um, you might join me live, you might join me um, when, the vi when the live session is finished and you watch it back, then a huge warm welcome to you. Thank you for having uh, for joining me today. So uh, if you've not met me before, my name is Angela and I am on a trajectory. It's a big word. It's a big word. I'm on a trajectory. I'm on a course to change my life. Um, not just my weight, but to change my life. And so far, I've lost £97 on my weight loss journey. And um, it's not been an easy road. There's been ups and downs. There's been trials. There's been challenges. There's been all sorts that has uh, impacted my journey. But having the right mindset has helped me to continue. And my journey, I've been on my journey now for four years and eight months. I started my journey um, in back in January 2019, when in at Christmas 2018, I was so heavy, I couldn't get out of the sofa at Christmas. I was just, I was at my heaviest. I'd put on so much weight, I felt awful, I felt really bad, I was sick, I was really, really unwell with lots of chronic illnesses and chronic disease and I decided at that point that I had to change and I had to change my life, not just my weight because my life had been holding me back from doing so many things that I wanted to do. Um, so yeah i decided to change my life and now that i'm on this journey to change my life so many things has changed for me um i've been able to live the life that i want to i've been able to travel i've been able to you know play with my grandchildren running around with them um being able to hold them to pick them up off the floor without you know being in without pain i've been able to um just feel happier within myself so many things has changed since i decided to change my life and within that i've lost 97 pounds i'm on course to losing 100 um so so we're going to talk about that today, guys. Um, I wanted to talk about mindset in particular and what mindset is. So mindset is, um, well, for me, mindset is about how we see and perceive and view the world. And we all have values and we all have our beliefs that 
has shaped us, has shaped our life. And how we see the world, how we see things, helps to form that mindset. And within that, we can have different types of mindsets for different things so we can have that positive mindset always looking at things in a positive way or you know seeing the good in situations and seeing how we can turn it towards our benefit or we can have a very fixed mindset which means that all we see is the here and now maybe the challenges maybe the difficulties we can't see how to move past those and um, maybe we have that challenge mindset where everything we see is going to be a challenge everything's going to be hard everything's going to be difficult so what's the what's the use of trying um or we might have that growth mindset which is very much about you know what this is a challenge this is tough but I'm going to find a way to get around it, underneath it, over it. I'm going to find a way through. And that's a growth mindset. And over the years, um, I was very much of a fixed mindset. I remember thinking, well, you know, I'm in my late 30s. I'm in my 40s. What's the point of trying to lose weight? I'm never going to get any fitter. I'm never going to get any healthier. Um, this is how I am. I'm big boned. I'm heavy boned. I'm heavy set. Look at my family. Look at my genetics. We're all the same. Nothing's ever going to change. This is who I am. So I might as well just stay as I am. That was very much a fixed mindset. Um, but then... <laughs> And I had that mindset for many years. And then after a while, I decided, actually, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that. I want to change my life. So I had to develop a growth mindset. Had to think about how do I get over these challenges? How do I deal with that internal chatter that says, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's not worth it. It's not going to work. How do I get over that? How do I get past that? So, you know, for me, it's a work in progress. And I work on that every single day. I work on how do I get over the challenges that life presents itself. I have a number of health conditions that is challenging. But I'm always thinking, how can I get past that? How can I move past that? How can I move in the direction that I want to go and do that successfully. So that's what we're talking about today, guys. I wanted just to share a few thoughts with you um, on how you can develop that growth mindset. But more importantly, what, you know, what I've done and hopefully what I've done and I'm doing, it might help you, it might help you. So years ago I came across a quote and I've written it down here and I'll share it with you and the quote that I came across was if you think you can or if you think you can't you're right and I love that quote that has always stayed with me if you think you can then you're right you can do something but if you think you can't then you're not going to do it. It's never going to happen. And that has really helped me on my journey, especially when, you know, I wasn't seeing the results on the scale, the results that I thought I deserved. And I say thought I deserved because I wanted those results on the scale, but wasn't always doing the work that was needed to get that. But, Thinking about if I think I can do this journey and I can be successful, then I will do it has really helped me. And that has kept me going for four and a half years. Well, four years and eight months, nearly five years on my journey. And I've lost, to say, 97 pounds. So thinking about that, there are some things that has really helped me. Now, I'm following the Weight Watchers plan so I'm following the Weight Watchers plan 
and I've tried so many different plants in the past. I've done Silimin World. I've done um, the Cambridge Diet. I've done Slim Fast. I've done the Atkins. I've done the Cabbage Soup. I've done so many different different plants in the past. And what I learned is that if a plan is healthy, if it's a healthy plan, such as Weight Watchers, such as Slimming World, and they promote healthy lifestyle, it's going to work. It's going to work. What didn't work was me. I was the one that didn't work, didn't do the work, didn't follow the plan as it was set down and didn't always get those results. Um, and when I decided to follow the plan as it was intended, got results, got results. But also one of the things that I really learned about the mindset is that you have to get on board have to get on board so i learned i used to say things i don't know if you know you guys will resonate with this but i used to things like oh this week i'm hoping for a loss or i wish you know i can get a good weight loss this week you know and what i realized was hope is not a plan hope is not a plan and you're never going to get anywhere if you're hoping and I learned that I had to have a plan. I had to put a plan in place. And I'm going to pick up on that a little bit more in a moment. And also wishing, you know, you could wish as much. You could make a million wishes with you, you know, the genie in the bottle. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. You have to have a plan. Um, and the same with dreams. You can dream as much as you want. You know, why well, I dreamt as much as I want never happen. But I realised that I had to have a plan. I had to have a plan. And every day I would wake, and even now I wake up every single morning and I say to myself, Angela, what's the plan? What's the plan for today? And usually my plan is off to the gym, get home, get cleaned and ready for the day. If I'm working, get myself organised, get my work done, you know, and then I'm thinking, what is my plan for my food and my snacks throughout the day? Have a plan for that. So, you know, no, it's not about wishing, not about dreaming, you know, not about hoping, it's about having that plan. So what's the plan every day? That's what has helped me so far. And I realised that there is no plan B. For me, on my journey, there is no plan B whatsoever. And thinking about the plan over the years, now I came across this um, a while ago and I thought, yeah, actually, this makes sense. I realised that my plan has to have five things, five things in my plan to make it work. And my plan had to be clear. So for the day, I had to be clear what I was going to do and when I was going to do it. Yeah, have that clarity. And for me personally, I don't, I just find it a little bit more challenging to think about a week ahead. I like to plan for the day, every morning. And then it has to be concise. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, I'm in the gym for 5.30. I'm going to be working out for an hour and a half. I'm going to leave at 7 back home by 7.15, etc. I have to have it that have it concise. Um, I know that I'm at work at a certain time, I've got my breaks at a certain time, and I know what I'm going to do in between those times that are concise. It's also going to be compelling. It's going to get me excited. Because if my plan isn't compelling, if I'm not excited, if I'm not interested, I'm not looking forward to it, Ain't gonna happen, ain't gonna happen. So it has to be concise, and then I've got to commit to it. Commit to the plan. So wake up in the morning, I'm clear about what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm gonna do when um, I'm excited about delivering that plan and making that plan happen. And then I commit to it. 
and then I'm consistent. I get that consistency every day. And when I am passionate about that, there is no plan B. There isn't, when I wake up in the morning, there is no, oh, well, if I don't get to the gym, then what shall I do? Or if I don't have my yogurt for breakfast, then what else can I have? No, there is no plan B. That is the plan for the day. And I follow that through. And what I've realised is that unless I am going to be clear and concise and have this compelling plan and I'm committed to it, then without commitment there is no consistency and without consistency I'm not going to get to my goal because I learned that commitment will without being committed you'll never I'll never get started without commitment I won't get started I've got to be committed to start my day to start my journey but without consistency, I'm never going to finish. So with those two things, made it happen, really made it happen. So, I, you know, thinking about that, um, I had to learn on the journey that um, my language was really important as well. So I'm following, as I said, the Weight Watchers plan. And, you know, Weight Watchers, love Weight Watchers. Um, but sometimes the language would be a barrier and I would find myself talking about free foods. Well, when I stopped and thought about it, there is no such thing as a free food. What's a free food? We all, we've got to pay for food. But um, Weight Watchers talk about zero pointed foods and they talk about zero pointed foods for a reason rather than free foods because when we talk about zero foods it's a reminder that there are no that there are still calories in it rather than it being free so getting that language right for me was so important and then the other biggie now it's interesting because somebody asked me this question um just the other day on thursday they asked me this question and they said to me Angela, where are you on your journey, on your weight loss journey? Are you on track or off track? And I thought about it for a moment because I wanted to give a measured response. I didn't want to embarrass them or seem disrespectful or, you know, cause any upset with the group. And I said, I'm neither. I said, I'm neither off plan or on plan. I said, because I'm just living my life. I'm living my life. Every single day I make choices. And I choose what I'm doing with my mindset. I'm choosing what to eat. I choose whether to have a rest. I choose whether to go for a walk. I choose what time I go to bed. I choose whether to go to the gym. I choose whether what activity I do. I make choices every single day. So for me, it's never a question of whether I'm off plan or off, on plan or off plan. I'm not on track or off track. I'm not on the wagon or off the wagon. I'm not on the train, I'm not off the train. I'm just getting up every day and making the best choices. And it's kind of like every single day I wake up, I get, say a prayer, I get up, I go for a wee, go in the bathroom, brush my teeth, get ready for the day. I don't have to think about that. That's just what I do. It's a habit. It's just what I do. I don't think, oh, one morning I'm just going to not... It doesn't even cross my mind to not do that, yeah? It doesn't cross my mind. And therefore, with my journey, it's become such a habit... I don't even think about it. 
it's not a choice it's not whether i'm on it or off it it's not whether i'm following the plan or i'm not following the plan i'm just living my life and making choices every single day and that way for me it's never ever ever been a diet never well it tell you like it was at the beginning of my journey four and a half years ago until i learned to turn it into a lifestyle and when i turned it into a lifestyle and I make those choices every single day. My language then changes. So I'm not on plan, off plan, on track, off track. There's no zero foods or not or free foods. There's none of that. It's just food. I'm just making the best choices that I can. So that has really helped me. Because I said there's no plan B. There's just no plan B. You know, I wake up every morning, I know that I'm going to have breakfast. I know I'm going to have, you know, drinks throughout the day. I know I'm going to move my body. I don't think, I know I'm going to have a meal and I don't think about it. Oh, it's a Weight Watchers friendly meal. It's a meal. It's a healthy meal, a healthy choice. So, again, you know, it's that mindset, isn't it? It's that mindset. And thinking about where the journey fits into the mindset has made that huge difference for me and along with that plan b it mentioned about that plan so in having no plan b and just having that plan i had to learn to be disciplined because what i've realized is that discipline when i am disciplined it gets me exactly what i want it gives me freedom, it liberates me, it gives me choices. It makes me feel good when I'm disciplined. But when I have no discipline, and I'm not disciplined about my day, I'm not disciplined about my week, then that's where the anxiety comes in. I get the worry, I feel upset, I feel bad, I don't feel good about myself because I'm not paying attention to me. So yeah, discipline is freedom. And having that mindset of having the plan and being disciplined can really, really make change that mindset. So, you know, using that, that's what's helped me to really appreciate that if I think I can, or if I think I can't, absolutely right. Something else that's really helped me with that growth and positive mindset to help me lose 97 pounds to date is surrounding myself with people who is going to support me on my journey and really lift me up. People who have been where I have been and people who are going and who is where I want to be. I like to be around successful people. I like to be around people also with that positive mindset. And I am at the stage of my life now where I find it really difficult to be around people who don't have that positive mindset, people who have a challenge mindset, who have that fixed mindset, who think, oh, I can't do this, or what's the point of trying? Or those who talk about being on or off plan, or, you know, people who are not prepared to make one tiny, tiny little change in their life. I find it really, really difficult to be around that because I've outgrown that. I want to be amongst people who are like, you know what? Yeah, I've got a load of weight to lose, but today I'm going to do something positive for me. I love that. And I also love to be around people who have said, you know what? I've lost like 50 pounds and this is what's helped me. You know, so I love to be around people who who is going and who is where I am going as well. Oh, on the same journey. 
And I've also realised that, you know, when I'm with people physically, I love to be around people whose eyes light up when I enter a room. That's a lovely feeling. They're so pleased to see you. And I and my eyes light up when certain people walk into a room as well because I want to be with them. So, do you know, I love that. Absolutely love that. Oh, I've just got a message saying that uh, people are waiting to join me on YouTube Live. I don't know why they can't join me. But I'm here, guys. I'm here. And we're live. I don't know why. I don't know why you can't join join the live. Um, so, yeah. But also, slowly is the fastest way to get where you want. And again, I've learned that on the journey, is that when you are on that journey, and I can only talk about me, guys, um, when I've I've never had fast weight loss, let's be honest. I've never had fast weight loss. But on the weeks that I have had like three, four, five pounds, that's because I've restricted. And when I've restricted, I might get that weight loss, but the next week, bam, six or seven pounds back on. So I've learned, you know what? I'm just going to go to a nice steady pace, half a pound, pound a week. And now I just weigh myself every couple of weeks. Um, and when I do that, I see those results. So fast isn't always the best way. Slow is the fastest way to get there, nice and steady, because you're learning those habits, learning those healthy habits. And also the other thing that I learned is that the top of one mountain is the bottom of another. So when you've got to the end of your week, the end of your month, the end of the year, you're at the top, but there's still another mountain to climb. So we've just got to keep climbing. So, you know, guys, that is what has really helped me. Those things have really helped me to have that fixed, to get rid of the fixed mindset, to have that growth and the positive mindset. And when I've done that, it's really helped me to change my life really has helped me to change my life but that mindset has helped me not just in my weight loss journey but in everything in everything that I do my entire life really really helped me that growth mindset so guys <laughs> I say, I don't know why nobody's here. I don't, well, I know that a couple of people have messaged me whilst I've been doing this to say that you can't join the join the live on the on YouTube. I, I don't understand why. But hopefully when I post this, you'll be able to watch it back. So I'm really, really sorry if you come in and you've not been able to join the live. But I'm obviously live now on YouTube, so I'm not sure what's happened there. But I'm going to leave you with a thought, guys. I'm going to leave you with a thought. And I want you to practice looking in the mirror every single day and loving what you see. Write exactly where you are, no matter whether you're near your goal or you've just started or whether you're on the journey, whether you've got those ups and downs doesn't matter. I want you to look in the mirror and start really loving what you see and believe in who you see. Believe in you. Believe that you can do this journey, that you can change your life when you change your mindset. And if you can't love what you see, then respect yourself. And if you can't respect yourself, then encourage yourself. Give yourself just a little bit of encouragement every day. And if you can't encourage yourself yet, then empower yourself. Give yourself one tiny little task to do to empower yourself. And if you're not at the stage yet where you can empower yourself, then be kind. Be kind to yourself. 
because guys you know the greatest something i've learned in my in my life is that the greatest relationship we'll have is not with our partners not with our family members not even with our children or grandchildren the greatest relationship we can ever have is with ourselves and that's why it's so important to look in that mirror every single day and believe in yourself and love yourself or at the very least be kind to yourself have faith in yourself have faith because faith can mend broken wings and when our wings are broken and they're mended then we can fly and we can soar and we can reach heights that we never thought we could because that was me guys I never thought I could lose almost a hundred pounds never ever ever I thought I was going to be overweight, obese, with <sighs> living in pain and with chronic health conditions every single day for the rest of my life. But with that positive mindset, with that growth mindset that is changeable, you can change your life. So guys, I'm going to leave that thought with you. And find me come and find me on um facebook i've got a facebook group with a small but growing community come and join me there or find me on instagram too and i put out videos here on youtube on my youtube channel um i do tips around my own weight loss journey and updates on my weight loss progress as well i do healthy cooking as well i do shopping hauls and i've just started my very first fashion and clothing try on haul for my new body shape and that will be out uh, later this week and i do a little bit of gardening so lots of lifestyle and um, this channel is all about so um do come and join me guys listen on that note thank you so much if you watch this back then, you know, give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Share with me anything that has resonated with you. Feel free to share it too. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, then I would love to have you as part of my uh, YouTube and social media family. So uh, click that notification bell and hit that subscribe, that, uh, yeah, hit that, I start again hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you'll be updated whenever i upload new, upload new videos guys thank you so much for being with me and uh, i will notify you of the next live and hopefully some of you might be able to join me um but i'm aiming to do these at the latest once a month but if i can do them any earlier um maybe once a fortnight um so yeah guys on that note go and do something that make you make you feel amazing today because you're worth it and i'll see you very soon take care guys bye